Hi, man. How's it going? An excessive heat buildup in your computer can cause it to function erratically. Okay, I want to tell you guys, if you've uh, got a power supply, you go to unplug it or plug it in. Definitely unplug it when it's raining like today. But uh, you notice this doesn't have a shutoff switch. If you don't have a shutoff switch on your computer, you want to get a power strip. Cheap little power strip works just fine, but it does have a shutoff switch on it, and you should always use that before you unplug or plug anything into your computer. This is your CPU cooling fan, and you, as you can see, it gets pretty compacted with dust and it doesn't work as well. This has only been probably six months since we last cleaned it. But it goes much deeper than the surface. As you'll see, the air compressor is going to kick on, but I stopped the footage every time it did so you wouldn't have to listen to it. Well, almost every time. Most video cards have a cooling fan on them too with a heat sink and the dust gets built up on the PCI slots. And you want to make sure you do all the vents because the, the computer has an air flow that it needs to go through it and it gets air in through the front and out through the back. Seven bucks for a can of compressed air or a hundred dollars for an air compressor. Use it over and over again. So now this is the most important part. You can't forget this. You have to clean up. You can see I have my little helpers out here. So here you can see that the sides aren't too hard to get on and off. Sometimes they're a little tight coming off, and sometimes it's easier to lay the computer on its side to get them back on. But most of the time, there's only one or two screws in the back holding it on. This happens to be the easy fasteners. HP usually puts those in. Otherwise, you need a Phillips screwdriver. And a clean computer is a happy computer. Connecting your computer isn't as hard as it seems. All the plugs only fit in one one place and they're usually color coded mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. and you've got the green, goes into the green for the sound. Your ethernet cable only fits in one plug or your phone line, whatever the case may be. Your, all your USB devices, doesn't matter which slot you put them in, is you usually have more than one. Your video cable is uh, D-shaped and it's bigger on one end and that only goes into one slot. This is the most important one you don't want coming loose, so I want to make sure you do the screws tight. Not real tight, but tight enough so it doesn't fall out on you. Notice the PS2 slots right above this for the keyboard and the mouse. The keyboard's purple and the mouse is usually green. And the power supply only plugs in one direction. Hope this has helped your computer. Have a great day.